Well, you know, it, um, it, well, it's interesting to look at, you know, how many times we won't surrender right. and we fight our own inner things when, if we would just find that fucking flow mm. and lean into that, like you said, you know? So I might have something, you might've just spurred something for me. Okay, um, good. So the flow, there's a jujitsu flow state, but in martial arts, Bruce Lee would say, be like water. Why be like two rocks coming together right. and just colliding? Mm -hmm. Both get damaged um, and where the stronger one wins, but it takes a beating too. So flow around those things, wherever the resistance is. Yes. You don't have to lean into the resistance always. And being from a wrestling background, you kind of always do. You do? Uh, a lot of times. I don't know shit about wrestling. Um, well, I mean, you don't. <laughs> Which uh, I'm sure shocks you. You, <laughs> you, you use <laughs> their body weight and um, positioning against them. You know, mm -hmm. it's position before submission. You have to have good positioning before you go for a submission in jujitsu. But in wrestling, like you get away with more strength. Like I'm a strong farm boy, strong guy. So I mm -hmm. can like pick guys up and throw them and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a whole other thing whenever you use their body weight against them, almost like judo where it's all technique. You don't even have to use strength. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I guess in the jujitsu flow state, it's like, so I'm making a comeback into fighting. It's been a few years, a couple of years because I had a shoulder surgery and then the addiction and the divorce and all this mm -hmm. life stuff. But coming back, I was trying to set a, a date on the calendar. This is when I'm going to fight. And my coach, uh, who's an on it guy, um, Rafael Lovato Jr., he's the most accomplished American to ever do the sport of jiu-jitsu. So 12 world medals, six-time world champion. Wow. And he's the undefeated MMA world champion, never lost a fight. Damn. Um, he's been on Joe's. I've got him on there a couple of times. And yeah. a great guy. But whenever I was talking to Rafael, I was like, I want to fight February, March. And he's like or actually I told him December 1st. He goes, no, don't even think about fighting in 2020. Just, just think about feeling good, getting back in the flow, enjoying it. Don't put all this pressure of circling a date on the calendar, which I always thrive under. Yeah. Um, and push myself to the extremes. He goes, well, maybe you're pushing yourself too much. Maybe you need to pull back. You've got all this stuff going on. Yeah. Like you were just fighting fall, against yeah. like allowing that mm -hmm. flow. He's like, just fall in love so with too it many. Again. No, <laughs> that's, that's it. Like, fall in love with the flow and just get here, be consistent, love it, enjoy it, have fun. And whenever I started doing that um, a couple months ago, I just came in and started enjoying training after 14 years being a professional fighter. Wow. Just came back in and said, I'm going to have fun. This dad that's got three kids that train here that I sometimes train with, but most of the time don't because uh -huh. we're kind of at two different levels. And, um, you know, he's doing it for fun. I'm mm -hmm. doing it for my job. Uh, you know what? I started training with a lot more of those guys and I started just having a blast with it, teaching them things, showing them things, being shown things, learning from guys that maybe you wouldn't normally think you're going to learn from, but a martial artist, a true martial artist has a humble heart that wants to learn yeah. and grow. And so they'll take it from anyone that they can get it from, but also give to. And so I'll share something with them that is, has always helped me the last 14 years proven but they have this little spin on it that I'm like, that actually might work in competition. Mm -hmm. So they're showing me something I might be able to use and I'm able to help them fine tune well, that's it also. That's some flow right there. Yeah. Thanks for listening. You can find more episodes and all other Hot Pie Media originals baked fresh daily at our home on the web at hotpiemedia.com, the Hot Pie Media YouTube channel, or wherever you listen to podcasts.